Hi everyone, uh, this is just a quick video to show you how to set your YouTube channel as made for kids or not. Now, if you're using YouTube, you would have received an email this morning asking you whether you um, were creating content for kids or not. And it sends you to a link, which doesn't actually take you to the right link. It takes you to an information area. And it basically says, set your channel as made for kids or not. Simplify your workflow by selecting a channel setting. So you need to do this inside of your studio.youtube.com. Now that link is in the page that the email sends you to, but it's a little bit complicated for some. So I'm going to streamline it. I'm going to show you exactly where to go. So for that, I'm going to share my screen with you. And we're going to jump straight in so that you can preset your channel settings so that you don't get any restrictions put onto your account. So I'm going to just share my screen with you, if you bear with me for a second. Okay, so if you'd clicked the link inside of the email that you received, it will take you to this page. And at the top of this page, it's going to set your channel um, or video audience. And it's telling you about the Children's Online Privacy Act and what's involved in it and what isn't. But if you scroll down, you'll see that it says how to actually do it. So what you need to do is you need to sign into your YouTube account and you need to go to the YouTube Creator Studio. So it's really easy to do that because you can just click the link that's in the landing page they send you to. So if you just go ahead and click that, that's going to take you to your YouTube channel. Now, if you haven't signed in for a while, you'll have to go through the signing in process. I'm actually already signed into my account. So we're going to go straight to that channel now, which is here. Now what's happened as well, which is really, really fortunate, is YouTube have actually put a banner along the top. And this is really an easy way for you to change the settings. So important, all creators are obliged to take action to comply with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act and other laws. Review your channel settings now. So you can review your channel settings by clicking the select channel settings. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. And it's going to ask you to tick the box. So this is the area that you need to set for you to comply with YouTube's new regulations. So it opens up for you, advanced settings, audience, simplify your workflow. Do you want to set your channel as made for kids? Now I do my channel for businesses, so mine isn't made for kids. So I've selected no, set this channel as not made for kids. I never upload content that's made for kids, okay? So you can go ahead and click that if that's applicable to you. If you do, however, make content for kids, then you go ahead and click this one. If you're not sure, you can click this button. What's content made for kids? So if we click it now, it's gonna open up another window. And in this window, you can see that it, it basically tells you um, the requirements that you need to go through if you are recording video for kids. Okay, so we'll go back to the channel dashboard. And again, just go to this advanced settings click no this channel is not set and then all you need to do is save this here now i've already saved mine so it won't have that up but you will have this as saved because i haven't done any changes okay so that let me just stop my screen share so that is how you set your channel um, as per youtube's regulations now for not showing video to children so I hope that's helpful. I know I've had a few requests to show you exactly how to do it. Um, so um, please, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. I will try and answer them, but I'm not an expert at the rules for this. I'm just showing you the techie bit behind how to actually do it. So please give me the thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's, it's there actually. And um, I'll speak to you soon.